Welcome to my channel. My name's Elise Marie. If you're new here, I am 32. I live in Virginia. I have a seven year old son named Jackson who has Down syndrome. And if you enjoy what you see here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload, you don't want to miss those uploads. But today is Friday. Thank God. Um, I am on my way to work. I'm about to leave my house. I'm probably going to be in the office pretty much all day today. And then later on tonight, I'm supposed to be meeting with my friend Taja. And we're going to record for our podcast. It's a long story with the podcast. We actually started promoting it at the end of last year. We even recorded for this podcast. We recorded twice for this podcast. Never uploaded an episode. So like I keep saying, it's so, hold on, it's so dark in here. Let me turn on, let me turn on a light. Wait, someone's, someone's texting. Um, so yeah, what was I saying? I can't remember. But yeah, we never posted the podcast episode. And oh, like I was saying, this year I'm going to do all the things that I've been saying that I wanted to do. And that includes posting an episode for this daggone podcast. So I'm going to take you guys along with me when we record for that podcast. I really need to wash clothes. It's crazy how much clothes you can go through in a week. It's like a never ending story of laundry. Jeez Louise. Let me set you guys up while I get all my stuff together. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing later. And I'll probably hang out there with her for a little while, just catch up and talk. But I'm kind of excited. I feel like I'm getting more comfortable being on camera. The more you do it, the more you just get comfortable talking. And I feel like the more comfortable you are, that's when your authentic self comes out. And I'm about to get, I have some double-sided tape. And I know this is about to be ghetto, but I'm about to like put the double-sided tape on the camera and see if I can stick you guys to my dashboard that way we can you know chit chat it up on my way to work but let me just get my stuff together so i can get in the car and be on the way to work because i do need to stop by target to do a pickup order because i don't think i'm gonna have time to do it later on so yeah let me hurry up and do that i'll be back all right y'all so i got my i got my tape let's see if this is gonna work i think it's gonna work Sorry for the angle right now, but I gotta put this stuff up here. I think it's gonna work. Oh, okay. Oh no. I don't know. We're gonna find out. I feel like this shit gonna go sliding. Oh, I done hit some stuff. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's hope that works. Let us hope did that work. Okay, let me get situated. Okay, we out. Oh wait, no. I need to tell Target I am on my way. Oh, and it say they're usually quick at this time. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Target. Y'all gonna be quick. So I can be in and out, in and out. So no, what I wanted to talk about, leave a comment down below if you are on a dating site. 
So I've actually been on a couple of dating sites, to be honest. Um, but currently, I'm on Hinge. And I don't know, is it just me? But I always feel super weird when I see people up there that I know. But it's just like, they trying to find love too, bitch. But I always feel like it's awkward. Like, oh, I know them. And I really hate it. I really don't like it when people follow me on Instagram or they follow me on some type of social media platform. But you match with me on Hinge. What is up with that? Like why not just shoot your shot on instagram do you feel like i don't know someone make it make sense to me like do you feel more comfortable matching with me on hinge because then maybe you feel like oh if i match back then it's like oh she's interested whereas if you shoot your shot maybe like on instagram or something like that it's like oh she might not be interested and then therefore you be embarrassed or something like that so maybe that's what it is oh you guys are working i turned and it stayed but maybe that's what it is but and and i don't like it when it's been people that i've matched with before previously for whatever reason we stop communicating we follow each other on social media meaning we exchanged numbers but then you'll match with me again and then proceed to ask for my number on different platforms on hinge and other platforms but then you don't be texting about shit or you don't be like consistent like that's that's my thing like i know i'm a talker i'm big on communication so i'm not saying you have to sit there and like text me all day long no i get it like we're grown-ass adults like we got jobs out here type thing so no i don't expect you to sit here and talk to me all damn day i get that but check in you know what i'm saying ask me how my day is and i'm gonna reciprocate that energy back to you but i don't know it's to the point like every time i tell myself i'd be like why are you up here why 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 do you waste your time i don't know i'm starting to be like maybe it's the men that that are attracted to me maybe they trash because that, that's what that's how I'm starting to feel but I mean like don't get me wrong maybe shit maybe it's me but we I don't know I don't know I'm just lost I just said at this point in time I am on the dating app but I feel like I'm turning into them like I be taking all day to, re to respond um to people I'm just like I don't know like why am I gonna give you that energy when you don't give it you're not giving me the same energy. And I get it, we're in this whole generation where nobody wants to be pressed. Nobody wants to be pressed over anybody. And I get it, I feel like I fall victim to that too because why am I gonna text you back right away but you be taking a 30, 30 minutes to an hour or two damn days to message me back but then I'm supposed to like jump and message you right back? No, and I honestly feel like I'm a quick texter but if you taking days to text me back, like, no, I'm not texting you back right away if I text back at all. But I don't know. I just tell me how y'all experience has been on a dating app because I don't feel like I've had good experience. Like, yes, I have met like a couple of people on dating apps where we still communicate or we may be like on and off here or whatever but to me that's a problem within itself too like why are we on and off -y? like if you like me and i like you and you want to talk to me and i want to talk to you why do why are you going ghost you know what i'm saying and i'm the kind of person i'm gonna tell you how i feel ain't no if ands or buts about it if you're not hitting me up i'm gonna be like why are you not hitting me up maybe i'm the maybe what's that mean maybe i'm the drama am i the drama that that's how i'm feeling right now maybe i'm the drama because but i feel like i know that about me like i know my flaws like i know i can be needy but my thing is i never try to i never try to hide that like i tell people up front yes I know I like attention. I know I like for the person that I'm talking to to text me, call me, FaceTime me. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing that I try to hide or I don't try to make it like, oh no, you can go days without texting me. I ain't gonna care. No, no, I'm gonna care. I care. But 
let me y'all let me know how y'all experience have been and really honestly like I feel like I rarely actually meet these people in person I can probably count on one hand how many people I have met on a dating app and actually like met them in person and that is rare so I don't know y'all let me know let me know what dating app you're on and what's your experience and what's the craziest thing someone has ever said to you on the dating app I know I had a man which maybe this is like TMI but shit he said it to me I ain't say it he was like um I'm really trying to keep my tongue out your butt excuse me sir why the fuck would you say that to me one you don't know me why would you think that would be something that I would be like oh yeah like let me see what he's talking about maybe it is some females out there but not me that's not me and if it is you touche to each his own you know what I'm saying you do you boo but that's not me like that's unattractive like I was like ew gross like why would you say that shit to me so yeah in the comments let me know what has been the craziest thing someone said to you what dating app you're on and just like your overall like experience with dating app maybe i mean and some people be like they find their husbands on like dating apps but shit where because mine must not be on the app i don't know where he at it's just to the point i just feel like i'm over dating at this point in time like i'm not gonna sit here and make it like i don't talk to people because i do but i just feel like i'm not before i feel like i was all like I was like oh my gosh like this is what I want because don't get me wrong I'm 32 I already have one kid I do want more kids and I just I feel like everybody envisions themselves like when I was younger like in my 20s or shit even before my 20s by now I was like oh I'm gonna be married I'm gonna have a family like I never thought that I was one gonna have a baby daddy and be a single parent that's not what I expected for myself and on top of that I didn't think I was going to be 32 and still be single but I mean shit happens but I don't know I just feel before I was really kind of like oh my gosh like I want to find my forever person like I want this to happen you know I'm getting older like when is it gonna happen and now I'm just like fuck it if Jackson is my only kid, Jackson is my only kid. If I'm meant to be by myself, then I'm meant to be myself. Like, literally, I told my mom the other day, I was just like, you know, it's cool. Maybe me and Jackson will be in the nursing home together. Like, gang, gang. Like, that's what it is. So, I don't know. You you guys tell me, like, how do you feel? Do you feel like you would be okay with being single for... And I don't want to say... I feel like I've come to terms with whatever happens, happens. Like, if I'm meant to be single forever then I'm meant to be single forever if I'm meant to find somebody and get married then I'm meant to find somebody and get married but it's like I have some friends they're just like they're content they're just like oh I know I'm probably gonna be to get, like by myself for the rest of my life and don't get me wrong I don't want that for myself but if that's what's in store gee that's what's in store but I do like the companionship of like when you're with a man or I mean now I mean with anybody whoever you're attracted to whoever you know satisfies you type thing but I mean me personally a man I like that you know companionship and having somebody that you know you can talk to about things or whatever and just like the bond that you guys share but I don't know maybe it's just me but yeah, at this point in time, I'm just like, it is what it is. Like, I don't care because you know what? I'm tired of my feelings getting hurt. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of, no, I don't be crying about that shit. I'd be like, oh, well, it is what it is. But you know, your feelings do be hurt for a little while, you know, until you pick yourself back up off the floor and be like, oh, let me go back out here. Get back out here in the dating pool. Mm, about to pull up at Target. <laughs> oh no! Then you guys made it this far. And then you want to fall? Y'all study for interviews. My friend, she just texted me. Um, and. She was saying how she got like an interview for this job 
which we knew she was gonna get the interview because my bitch she know her shit but she's saying how she got the interview and she's just like yeah like I'm excited I need to start you know reviewing questions and I'm just curious do other people study for interviews because I study for interviews like I will get like think of questions they may ask me and write down answers so I will already kind of have answers already made up in my mind of what I'm gonna say so I'm not put on the spot because I don't like being in interviews and then having like a long ass pause where I'm trying to like think of something because I just feel like that's that's awkward when I'm just sitting there trying to think of things so I usually try to already like list out certain examples that they might ask me you know they'd be like when was there a time where you had to deal with like a difficult situation I already had that difficult situation written out so I know what I'm gonna say I know what I'm gonna talk about so do y'all study for interviews like do y'all do the same thing or do y'all just go in there and just be like it is what it is I don't care hi it is 9198 thank you oh, thank you you have a good day thanks I need to put some of this stuff I brought to put in my office at work and then I bought Jackson his Valentine's Day gift. Because people don't be having no ass on them. Okay, that's enough for the rant. I will pick you guys back up later. Let me get to work and I'll check in maybe with you guys once I get there. I'm back. I'm about to be at Taja's house. We're about to record the podcast. I feel like I hit some stuff on my um, camera. Let's see. It's looking real, it's looking real dark up in here. Let me go. Oh wait, here she comes. Tosh! Yo, yo. We're vlogging! Oh, hey, Gunner. Who's here? No, one. Oh, oh, damn, damn, Gunner! <laughs> We're about to start this podcast. Oh, you listen to me. Be more than you should know. All right, we'll be back once we get started. Okay. Disregard the fact that I still look like yesterday, but um, this kid, he's he's a true vlogger. What did he do? He went upstairs, took the camera out of my bag and brought it downstairs to me. No lie. What do you have to say to the people? Because I feel like you have something to say because, you know, you went all the way upstairs. You went and got the camera. You brought it down here. You brought it to me. You say you're trying to you're trying to talk to the people. No? Okay, it's okay. The face, you're giving face. You're giving face like you're interested. That's all that matters. No? <laughs> all right. Yeah, I just had to come and tell y'all. He, he brought the camera to me. He's like, sis, what you doing? Pick up the camera. Vlog this shit. Okay, all right. Oh, <laughs> 
I heard that this was a shot. Are you this line. Yes, sir. In the comments, tell us no. if this is a shot or not. Or did somebody steer me wrong? Because <laughs> I saw it somewhere. <laughs> we got to talk about something. Let's play a game or something. Taja, tag yourself. This is Taja. You guys met her yesterday. Make sure you go follow her. Taja underscore Sydney. Go do that. Make sure you follow our podcast page too. Unapologetic underscore moms with an S. Yes, that's us. Yeah, I, got a yes. I, I got a podcast too. Yeah, we, we posted it. Yeah, we got a podcast. My podcast is called The Here Y'all Go. We, we posted it. The Here Y'all Go. What down. is it about? Um, we're talking about sports, music. It's like you have seven people in your podcast. That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. It works though. What do y'all be talking about? What's the name of the podcast? The Here Y'all Go podcast. They hear y'all go podcast. Um, y'all go check it. them out. So we uh we dropped the podcast. We recorded our first episode. We went to where do y'all record? Well, we do Zoom. Oh, okay. Some podcast right here. Oh, y'all see everybody but be what's it called? To be fair, we haven't recorded it. That was our last episode. We just life just kind of picked up, but we're we're coming back with season two eventually. How do y'all hate Jake on your podcast? No, no, that's on there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, girl, girl, no. Look, I'm look, I ain't knocking you if you got J. Cole. That's right. This is, we, we got, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all that. Do y'all use Anchor? Yeah, we, yeah, we That do. we do too. We about to uh, play this game. I don't like playing games. You don't like games? No games? Not really. They be making me like. Make you nervous. Nervous. <laughs> I mean, you can always lie. You're not gonna say something like if something in the car tells you to say. You just lie. But we wouldn't know. They talk to did, did you just get random girls or you made sure they had pretty teeth? Oh, man, girls. You know these girls? I know most of them. I knew most of them. Some of them I was just random. I, just, I asked people around the beginning. Y'all don't even look like you. Maybe because you got glasses on and a hat. Yeah, I have short hair than me too. How old is this video? A year? Oh, yeah. Literally, it came out as a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,